Thank you. Woo! Thank you so much, Brother Don Wolf. We are so inspired by your beautiful music uh, to start setting the mood for our event tonight. Um, yeah, we're still uh, welcoming people on, but we wanted to start our program on time. So we would like uh, to officially open this event, our Global Women's Peace Network DMV uh, event today entitled Honoring Native American Heritage Month, Building Bridges of Understanding. And we are here to understand each other, to learn and uh, to hear from our wonderful uh, drummer tonight and from our keynote speaker. We also have um, someone offering uh, prayer for us, a spiritual healing. So we have a wonderful program planned for tonight. Uh, my name is Natasha Phillips and I am the Global Women's Peace Network coordinator for the Southeast region of the United States. And I'm really happy to welcome you all here tonight. And I will now be turning over the mic to our moderator for the evening. Allow me to briefly introduce her. Um, so our moderator is Dottie Chiquelo, who's got a doctor of philosophy and is retired from the University of Maryland College Park. And uh, she has received uh, degrees, uh, undergraduate master's degrees in business administration and a master's in philosophy and PhD in management from Walden University. She has served as representative and organizing chair of the Native American Indian Alaska Native Grand Entry on the DC Mall. And uh, she's been active in so many different organizations, including Women's Federation for World Peace. And she is here tonight as the Global Women's Peace Network coordinator for the DMV region. So without further ado, please join me in welcoming up Dottie Chiquelo. Thank Welcome you. Dottie. Thank you, thank you. OCO and good evening, my elders, sisters and brothers, and a special salute to our fallen and active veterans, to the Global Women's Peace Network program. Tonight, we continue to celebrate Native American Heritage Month, building bridges of understanding, which should be a lifetime commitment for all of us. I would like to thank my brother, Gregory Don Wolf Woods, for opening the program to accelerate our spirits and physical healing with drumming. Thank you. We will hear more from Don later on in the program. What is building bridges of understanding? Understanding that we are all God's children. We should celebrate our differences in culture, language, food, and beliefs, and love our animals so that we may ensure Mother Earth, her veins, which are so polluted these days that Father Sky is not even able to clean our lifeline, water, when he cries. What is building bridges of understanding? Understanding that all of us need the same things to survive on earth, which come from Mother Earth and Father Sky. We need to understand that we are as a people must come together and save the planet. Mother Earth is dying. Tonight, we will hear from our keynote speaker about some recommendations that may help us and others to realize we are killing Mother Earth and something must be done. Mother of Peace, Han Shang Hung Moon, 
who has dedicated her life to peace, is working tirelessly and tireless less with other world leaders for peace and climate change. We must do our part. And at this time, I would like to introduce to you Nana Corain Tima Pierce William, who has been a priest, a spiritualist in the Akun tradition of Ghana, West Africa, and an advocate for community growth, development, healing, wellness through her practice, Kangjua Works, based in Richmond, Virginia with degrees from Howard University and Saybrook University, masters in mind, body, and medicine. Nana has long served a bridge between tradition and modern practice. In her role as priest, she provides leadership and healing right writs for individuals and collectives facilitates training for organizations seeking to create intentional work space for their diverse workforce. She guides passages, ceremonies for audiences, seeking to reclaim and nurture their cultural identity. As faculty and board member at the Inner World Center in Richmond, Virginia, Nana is also a certified mindfulness-based stress reduction facilitator, teacher, trainer, and consultant who curates creative, culturally sensitive spaces that lean, lean into traditional practices rooted in ancestral facilitation and have impactful approaches to stress reduction, surviving trauma, and disruption of stagnant thoughts and actions. I bring to you a wife, a conduit, a sister, a mother, a daughter, a grandmother, and lifelong learner who remains humble by the healing power of compassion, forgiveness, and love, Nana. What an honor to be with each of you this evening. Uh, I invite each of you to please take your right or left hand, doesn't matter, and place it on your stomach. And in this moment, let's take some deep breaths together. Ago, ago, ago. Inyami and Yakapon, old Dumankuma, a Churiampon, a Oldest Grandmother Spirit Wednesday, we call you. Oldest Grandfather Spirit Wednesday, we call you. Asasiya, Mother Earth, we call you. Esuo, bodies of water, we call you. Nana and Frama. Oh, spirits of the wind, we call you. All those vibrations and elemental forces that exist, all those spirits and those that we know and those that are unknown, that which is of high vibration, we call you into this space. From this land, in this moment, I acknowledge I stand on Pamunkey and Powhatan land. In this moment at this time, each of us is a living representative of our ancestral lineage. And we come together activated by elder brother Don Wolf's drumming. Thinking about how that made us feel, activating each of us that we wake up, that we shift, that we recognize it is upon us who are future ancestors in the making 
to be present, to be the bridges, to do the work, to stand in alliance and in solidarity. We give thanks for all those high spirits, all those high nana no, those divine spirits that guide us and strengthen us. Be here, we call you. Be with us now. Guide each of us as we navigate this evening. Help us to move through difficult thoughts. Help us to stand tall as we share the visioning that has brought us together. We give thanks for all things that are great and all things that are small. We remember that each of us is challenged with our own struggles, and yet we still stand for this we give thanks. Madasiana, no, Nipal Cho, thank you. Thank you, my sister, for that beautiful, beautiful prayer. Thank you so much. I would like to call Natasha back to the Zoom platform to introduce and talk about W, I mean, Global Women's Peace Network. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dottie. I will also be mentioning uh, WFWP. Um, we have with us tonight uh, some people who have attended uh, previous GWPN events, as well as some who are joining for the first time. So please allow me a few minutes to just give a brief overview to our organization. Um, so I will just share my screen. Okay, so I am uh, sharing something that has been adapted from a, a national presentation. I am just using a few slides from that. Um, so Global Women's Peace Network is actually a project of the Women's Federation for World Peace, and it was inaugurated internationally in 2012. Um, the Women's Federation for World Peace was inaugurated in 1992. So it has been around uh, for almost three decades, and uh, we have many chapters around the world in over 90 nations, as well as uh, 35 in the United States. It, was come, it came about in order to announce the arrival of the era of women, and it was co-founded by Dr. Hakjahan Moon, who you see here pictured on the left, and her late husband, the Reverend Sun Myung Moon. The Global Winds Peace Network brings together leaders, organizations, and governments to solve pressing social issues and secure an environment for equitable human development through peace leadership based on the feminine aspect of human nature. GWPN seeks to ensure lasting peace and prosperity for generations to come. And uh, in this area of peace, we are focused on three areas of impact, uh, women's leadership, family and the environment. And our topic tonight, uh, our keynote speaker will be addressing the environment, uh, talking about Mother Earth. So this is one of our key areas of impact. Uh, we have Global Women's Peace Network activities internationally and nationwide. Uh, we have different forums that are happening uh, and also monthly gatherings at the local level. For example, this DMV initiative. Uh, we are doing this every month. So uh, this is our second event and we welcome you to join us every single month if you would like to. Uh, we also have collaborative projects with Global Friends who are partners of GWPN and I will be speaking more about that at the end. And we offer Her Story Awards to recognize key women peace leaders. So we have a lot more to come and I am so excited to have you here tonight um, for our special program. And I will now turn it back over to our moderator. Thank you, Dottie. Thank you, Natasha. My, my front and my back and my sides and we just work together so well. Thank you so much. Okay, it is time for me to introduce to you our keynote speaker, Venus Brightstar. 
Journey to Venus, Sustaining Living. Venus Bright Star is a native indigenous woman. Her given name, she will pronounce. <laughs> In her native tongue, the name means Venus Bright Star. In collaboration with her team, she created Journey to Venus, Sustainable Living which represents her indigenous peoples proudly. Her project, Journey to Venus, Sustainable Living, uses traditional teaching methods, bringing ancient wisdom into the new world. The combination of visions and traditional ways of life play an Important role in empowering people with knowledge that they can use as a mean to sustain themselves. The new earth method is combined with the traditional ways of teaching by honoring the ancestors of Turtle Island, North America, who have lived off the land since the beginning of time. This vision was born more than 30 years ago by Venus. She has experienced the effects that impoverishes circumstances which can have on people and their way of life through her travel. The Greenhouse Sustainable Living Project is brought to life by Venus her compassion and concerns for the people she has come in contact with over the years has motivated her, as well as her strong advocacy for transformation in nutrition and business. I proudly introduce to you my sister, my home girl, my <laughs> Tennessee girl, my Nashville girl, my sister, Venus Brightstar. Mm, I welcome you. I thank you, my beautiful sister. We've been on a journey together. <laughs> yes, we've been on a great journey. My name is Venus Brightstar. I am, um, my indigenous name is Wenawada Deoswade. I come from the people of the river, the Creek Nation from uh, Southern Alabama. And we have always been here. And for me to be led to this beautiful 100 acres is the spirits literally gave me this, this property. Even though I'm buying back stolen land, <laughs> I always tell the lawyers and the bankers that, and they laugh. And, but the spirits brought me here to, um, to bring this new earth in. And the new earth is not like a new earth. It's the new earth that's inside of us. We are, we are part of this new beginning and this new uh, ending the slavery of, um, of, um, of being a slave to, to the society. And we're learning how to govern ourselves and how to be and how to uh, feed ourselves and how to honor ourselves and, and be a part of, of everything like nature. Just the other day, I was taking a walk in the woods and a deer looked up at me. I was sitting on the on the branch, and the and the deer looked up at me, and and then, and we looked at each other, locked eyes. And I shared with the deer. The deer shared with me and said, "Look at me. I'm not pitiful. I'm not sad. Look at my babies all around me. I have full of hair, my hooves, my my horns, my everything. I am uh, full of abundance and prosperity. And that's who you should be." And that was a message from the deer. I listened to the deer. I listened to the squirrel. The squirrel is the one who brought me the property to tell me, start storing my nuts. And my nuts is uh, our, right now, it's our food, our money, our currency right now. And we're moving into this great currency, this beautiful uh, enlightened world where we will have uh, free electricity. I know it sounds really like from another planet, from Venus planet or something. <laughs> But it really, it's a, it's a, it's a place that we have, we are raising funds for that. 
for our crystal chambers, um, healing beds. And I will have a healing chamber here on my property. We will have a wellness center here and we're growing. We're starting to grow food here. And um, with the, with the amazing man who brings in a turnkey for we can feed our tribal people, teach us how to eat again, lay off of all that fried food, the fried bread. That's not even our food. Our food is very, very conscious. It's our, it's our three sisters, the corn, beans, and squash. And we always had that diet to nourish our three sisters and nour nourish our bodies, our temple. This is our temple, and we should be good to this temple. And we should honor it and listen to it and ask it, what would you like today? What would you like to eat today? And listen to it. Maybe it don't want to eat today. Maybe it just wants to fast. Maybe it just wants to just drink water and be close to the water so we can feel all of our cells and all of our bodies. So we give thanks. I give thanks to everything. We give thanks for this land. And that's, this is the new earth by being in gratitude, being in gratitude to everything and to all of our people that come through here, through our land. And we hold ceremonies here. We teach people how to go inside of themselves, how to honor themselves, find the God that's inside of them. And God is not somewhere out there in, uh, in the sky or, or down below. God was told, we were told that God is inside of us. But for many thousands of years, it's been, it been stripped. And we, we were forced to go to these churches and these governments and these schools. So now we sing the songs that my brother just sang with the drum. We speak to that drum and the drum is our mother. It's the heartbeat of our mother. And we give gratitude to that. I give gratitude to my brother. I bow to him and it was an honor to see him again on, on this side of the fence of our screens. And um, so I wanna say thank you. I want, I'm in gratitude. Thank you, Dottie. think I'm muted. No, no, you're not muted. Okay. Yes. It's just so beautiful to be in the presence of such goddesses and to walk this beautiful journey with each and one of you, beautiful ladies. Like Venus. my sister. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Can we talk about the the Mother Earth and, and the trauma that she's going through? Yes, we can. The trauma is, is inside of us. The trauma is deep inside of us. It's not somewhere outside of us. Our trees, our standing trees, our rivers, we have polluted them, yes. And we have cut down our forests, which is our pharmacists. But when we heal ourselves, we heal everyone around us, our mother, our father, our brothers, our sisters, our children, our, our grandchildren, our unborn children. And that's the healing. We have to go inside of ourselves. And people ask, how do you go inside of yourself? Listen to that heartbeat, which is the heartbeat of our mother, the heartbeat of the drum. That's, the, that's, our, that's our mother. We stay silent. We, we go into silence and we silence ourselves. That's how we hear our mother. And that's what our mother means that, that she's in trouble because we are the mother. We are the father of the sky, the father sky, mother earth. And mother earth wants us to heal inside. We, are, we have been damaged by the food, by the water, by so many things we have been, we have been traumatized. And so with us being traumatized, our mother earth is traumatized, our water, our air, and our, and our grandfathers and our grandmothers have sat down and they have shared to us the prophecy when the white buffalo is being born, that we as indigenous peoples all over the world will come together no matter what color we are black, white, red, green, purple, we will all come together as one. And we can start seeing it now, even on this call, 
how we're all together as one because we are one because we our hearts beat together as one that's the trauma that yes mm -hmm. i'm sorry I'm sorry. That's our trauma. That's our trauma that we are in. And that's the trauma that we feel with our mother earth. It's because we're in pain. And once we understand that and we get that, then we can speak and we can speak to her directly. And our father, let's not forget our father sky. That we are all connected no matter who we are, where we're at or what we're doing. <clears throat> we're connected to the leaves out there. We're connected to the rocks. We're connected to everything, even to the not so good people out there. We're connected to them and we get to be that light, that beacon of light for them and show them how to love again. This is what the white buffaloes is all about, is about bringing in that love, that unconditional love to love our brothers and sisters that's hungry, that haven't had any food, to go over there and give them some food. And if you have a little cash, you give them a little cash. Yes, we've gotten away from that. Another, something else you just mentioned, which is, is very important to me. You mentioned that um, we're cutting down our pharmacist. Can you elaborate on that? Oh, most definite. For an example, there was, um, I was traveling. I do a lot, a lot of traveling around the world. And I happened to stop at this rest stop and this bush was very, it was just shaking. There was no wind, no nothing. And uh, I went to it and, and I looked at it. It was the most beautiful, beautiful bush I've ever seen. And it had this most beautiful scent to it. And the bush said to me that I am your relation take me and I cut some pieces off of it and then I use, I use my google lens to find out what what is this bush what is this tree and um and it was um uh, and it was called the chaparral we call it sticky weed we call it we have many many names for it but the, it's a one of the oldest 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 plants here in North America that we call turtle island and we don't call this North America, we call it Turtle Island. And that plant spoke to me. And that night I took it home with me and it told me a story. And it said that our pharmacist was cut down. Our trees, our bushes were all cut down, but we survived. And our pharmacist is that beautiful bush. And that plant told me there's nothing I can't heal. I heal everything. No matter what's wrong with you, you can drink me, you can eat me, you can sleep with me, you can bathe with me and everything. And today, the plant gave me so many dreams and visions. And today, I make that sap and I make a tea out of it. And I just give it away to people. I make the sap and stuff, but the, that's our pharmacist, that bush. And so many other bushes that we go up there and we cut down and they they took our beautiful sacred plants and our beautiful sacred trees. Like we have these willow trees. That's what they used to make aspirins out of was our willow trees. And we take the bark, we chew it, we boil it. We make a, and, and we use it for our arthritis. We use it for our headaches, for our body pains. And that's another thing they cut down. So when we say that they burn down, they cut down our pharmacists, that's the not so nice people. They did that, but we can go to their doctors and our pharmacists, our healing, our healing mothers, our healing fathers. And so we have all of that knowledge inside of us. We just have to tap into it. That's that God inside of us again. And when I tapped into that God inside of us, it showed me this plant. And, and that plant is amazing. And anyone can have it and get it. It's everywhere. It just out there in the in the forest, and we just and it speaks to us. I hear you. I mean, I can attest. On, I can attest to what you're saying because on your property, which is so many acres, you have so much foliage. And when I come to visit, and you take me out walking. Venus knows the name of every plant on her property. 
every plant and what it does. And if you ever want to have a native experience uh, just with nature, sleeping in a long house, the real native experience, come to Nashville, Tennessee and visit Venus. Venus, I have another question in the chat. Why is North America called Turtle Island? Mm, it's such a beautiful story. It's a beautiful, it's our creation story. And, um, and so I'm gonna make a long story short is, um, is mother earth is shaped like a turtle. If you look at it from the sky, the head, the legs, the tail is shaped like a turtle. Even to our 13, um, uh, our shell on the back is 13 ridges on the back of the shell. And that's our 13 moons, which we don't have 12 moons. And them are others, that's another thing that they, that when we went inside of ourselves, we found the real true story of Mother Earth, which is Turtle Island. And that's our creation story. And the turtle is our mother, no matter how far and where you go on Turtle Island in North America, as far as far south, as far south as you can go in Brazil, Bolivia, wherever, Mexico, as far south as you can go, or as far north, like Canada, Alaska, that area. And that's all you'll see, the indigenous peoples, they always have a turtle, always doing something with the turtle, no matter where we're at, there's always a turtle around us or with us, our turtle shakers, our turtle rattlers, even our songs. We have a turtle song, which the Cherokee people, we dance around the fire and we sing the, and we have turtle shakers around our ankles and we make the sound, the most beautiful, beautiful sound you can possibly hear with the turtle shakers because we're honoring the, the mother earth, which is a turtle, turtle island. And as you look in the back of me, uh, this is my background and this is my land. And um, I'm gonna see if I can move out the way for you can see the beautiful red road. <laughs> and that's the road we live on. We live on the red road and, and you as indigenous peoples, um, that's what we call it, the red road. And it is truly the red road. Can you repeat the name of the plant you mentioned a few minutes ago? Yes, it's called chaparral. And anyone that's interested in it, I can go deeper into the conversation and all the healing and um, and stuff. I can send I can send some sap. Not right now, but <laughs> real <soon. laughs> not real soon. Because I sold out of it uh, a couple of months ago. Uh, but I do make an amazing, amazing sap that really I know they don't like the word cure you know, uh, but it's a healing sap that heals so much properties on your body. Yeah. Wonderful. It's now, called chaparral. Chaparral. Mm -hmm. Now, Venus, tell me about your property. You take care of your, 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 your dirt to ensure that your, your plants are healthy and not poisoned by all the chemicals that are being dropped on foliage. I know you're not yes. in the city. I know you're not in the city, but just give us some ideas of how do you take care of Mother Earth? Oh, most definite. I say thank you to her every morning before I rise out of my bed. I say thank you to her just for me to be in this beautiful long house to be able to be in this space. And she takes care of me. I really don't take care of it. It takes care of me. And by me taking care of me, it takes care of her. And we, and the clay is very, very sacred here also. We make a sap out of the clay. And we make, a, we make a, um, for an example, there was a lady that, that came to live here for about a year she had a big cyst on the side of her breast. And she said she was gonna to go to the doctor to go get it removed. And I told her, why don't you go out to the pharmacist out here into the woods? <laughs> we call it the pharmacist, uh, the woods and, uh, and go sit in that clay. And she went and sat in there. And within three days, she said it was gone. And she went to the doctor. He said, well, I don't know what you're talking about. There's nothing there. 
and she went and took a big old big bucket, a pan of that red clay and put it on her breast. And, uh, and today she has nothing wrong with her. And we soak in that red clay and we eat that red clay. And that's how we take care of it by using it and always remembering what that red clay does and what it is. It's a healing. It's also a paint. We use it for our jewelry and for our clothing and stuff, the red clay. And then the water here, that's why it's called Bon Aqua, Tennessee, because the water here is very, very pure. Many, many years ago, hundreds of years ago, all the movie stars used to move, to move here. They moved here and they uh, created all these spas and everything with the, with the mineral, with the water. And, um, and if it's still, and if it was healing back a hundred years ago, it's still healing now. And they, my water has been tested. People have been out here to test the water and they shut off the microphone, their computer or whatever. And they say that I would do anything to your water. It has so many minerals and, and, uh, and so much inside of it. And, and there's water companies that wanted to come and purchase my water and um and this is how pure the water is so just by honoring the water honoring the clay on the land and by honoring everything that's how we take care of it by saying thank you every day by the deer the turkeys the chickens the cats the dogs you know we say thank you and they just show up and we just take care of them too we just feed them Uh, there are some conversations in the chat wanting to know how can I go to Venus? How can oh. I visit? Well, Ooh. I just would like to mention mm. that uh, WFWP, yes. which is the Women's Federation for World Peace, Peacemakers for Sacred Healing, we honor those who walk the native trail of tears. Mm. And a group of the members set out to travel the Trail of Tears prayers journey from oh, New, uh, yeah, from um, from Georgia to uh, Oklahoma. So I was in Nashville at the time and I welcomed the group on their arrival in Nashville. And from there, we went to Venus, the Venus to her land. And she welcomed us with a pipe ceremony upon arrival native meals, overnight lodging in her longhouse, spiritual blessings before um, the group left out for the next destination. So I must say, Venus, we may have another group coming to visit mm -hmm. us, which oh, will be yes. wonderful. I am oh. in gratitude. I welcome, I welcome whoever wants to come here and I say, give my telephone number away. And uh, I run ceremonies here. We're having one this weekend. The indigenous peoples are all showing up from all over the country uh, to be here on the land. They asked if they can, uh, if they can um, honor the land by setting up a teepee and, uh, and holding a ceremony for the women that's, being, that's missing on the reservations and being kidnapped. And so we're holding a prayer this weekend. They're all showing up Friday. And so this is the kind of honoring we do on this land. This is why the land is so sacred and so, so peaceful. Everybody who ever shows up here, even just people that just dropping off wood or dropping off whatever they're dropping off, they said, wow, this is really peaceful, very peaceful. They said, I live on a couple hundred acres and, but this is peaceful. <laughs> that's that's a, all the words everyone always says, peaceful. <laughs> Exactly. And mm -hmm. Venus, just for you to know, my flight leaves in the morning, so I will be there. <laughs> oh, I welcome you. I welcome you. Yeah, they're okay. coming from all over the country, the Choctaws, mm -hmm. the Cherokees, the, right. the Menominee people. Yes, and you are welcome, and whoever else wants to show up is welcome. And also, Venus, uh, and guests, please feel free to put your questions in the chat box. Uh, there is another question as to uh, um, are you, uh, they mentioned 
I can relate to the red clay. I used to eat it as a child when I yes. lived in the countryside in Florida. Yes. Interesting. So that's another method of healing. Yes. Wow. Yes. That's yes. something that Mother Earth is giving to us at no cost. Yes, it's free. <laughs> mm. Yes, it is. It's free. All we have to do is just honor her. That's how we honor the land by using her and thanking her for everything that she gives us. So what can we do moving forward? What can we do to support others to understand that they are destroying Mother Earth? What, how can we move forward? Uh, climate change, uh, uh, pollution, you name it. What what is the journey? Like they said, like this, like the, our our elders and our medicine people, they sit down with us and they tell and they share this with us, and they say, once you get out of this head, out of this brain that we're in, and go into our hearts, that's how we heal. It sounds so so simple. But the minute that we get angry, we start hating for no reason. That's how we hurt Mother Earth. But as soon as we wake up and throw our hands in the air and say thank you to Mother Earth, say thank you to my neighbors, say thank you to me, thank you to you, Mother Earth is so happy. She shines on you. That's how we heal. And I know it sounds so simple. But just do that for one day. No anger, no arguments. Anybody wants to argue? Oh, just send them love. Say, I love you. Love is the answer. Love is the key. That's why we're still here. And we're still sending that message out with pure love. Like, I love you. Thank you very much. You know, that's why we have so much love in our hearts for everything and everybody. All of our brothers and sisters. Even the ones that's very, very sick and doing horrible things to our mother. You know, they're really doing it to themselves. But yes, they are hurting our mother earth too because it rip, it's a ripple effect. Even when we get angry, we're in traffic, we're honking the horn, we're swerving up and down, speeding. That's hurting, that's hurting mother earth because you're hurting yourself and we are mother earth. So we get to go inside of ourselves and just love for that day for that minute, for that moment, for that second. Just say how much you love yourself. I love you. I love you, Venus. I love you, Dottie. <laughs> well, I love you as well, my sister. I mm. love you. For, I've loved you for a long time. Oh, yes. So do we have any questions from our participants? Feel free to unmute yourself. Raise your hand. Use the reaction button to raise your hand if you have a question or a comment. I did see one question, Dottie, earlier. It's, uh, Nana asked, how many of your family generations have been on the land? I wish all of them. I have 13 brothers and sisters and, and about a thousand nieces and nephews. And, <laughs> and, uh, and I wish I could bring them all here, you know, but they're stuck. <laughs> and um but quite a few of them but my blood brothers and sisters just a few but all my other brothers and sisters they come by the hundreds and come in and just sit in the land and sit in the teepee sit in the sacred circle sit in that fire so many many brothers and sisters yes many any other questions, comments? And this is really, this is really the, this is the really, um, the way we really keep our spirits really clean is by, is by the sage, burning of the sage, you know, mm -hmm. burning of the sage and purifying ourselves. This mm -hmm. is a really good way to stay in the moment because you can't be angry when you're holding the sage. It just don't exist. <laughs> and whoever wants sage, I, I pick sage. 
<laughs> I offer sage to folks if they're not able to get it. But yes, this is this is how we do this. This is how we stay in our hearts. This is how we keep that smile and keep rejoicing. Yes, beautiful. And Venus mm. has so many remedies. She said, try this. I said, I'm not trying that. <laughs> Try this, my sister. Next mm. thing I know, I'm trying it and feeling better. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. So then, Venus, you are saying that Mother Earth has provided for us, content, she's trying to provide for us all of the, everything that we need, uh, uh, our medicines, our foods, uh, our water that we must have, uh, spiritual healing, mm -hmm. just everything. If if Mother Earth is just left to be Mother Earth, Father Sky is providing moisture to clean her veins, but. How can her veins be cleaned if other things are being put in it? Could you please mute your phones? I think Reverend Green raised his hand. I don't know if he wants uh, okay. to ask a question. Okay, but but yes, I hear I, I hear what you're saying, and I hope others hear what you're saying that. We just need to do what we can do. Okay, but, question. All right. So, can wow. Good evening, good evening, sisters. And I must say um, thank you to our beautiful um, sister Venus Bright Star. Our mother hurt representative. I, I I put in chat. I I thank you for keeping space for us by being there and holding that space until all of us become conscious and realize the purity of the land and what it means to each and every one of us. Thank you. Thank you for that. And um. I just want to ask a question. Um, if someone, if and if we want to come visit, mm -hmm. you know, from New York to your place, how much would it cost to stay there, and how long can you stay? You know, if we want to stay like for three days, how much would the cost be? What is Reverend, the requirement? Reverend Green, we can talk offline about that. Um, okay. We can plan no it because I, I'm sure you're a member of WFWP or um, one of the organizations, so you're already in. So we all we have to do is just plan it, and we can come down from New York, DC, Virginia. We'll get it together. Okay, great. Thank you. I would like to share with uh, with Reverend Green. Am I correct with the name? Yes, you are. Oh, thank yes. you so much. Thank you for that beautiful. My first name is Beryl. My, my first name is Beryl, B-E-R-Y-L, a gemstone. Oh, oh. Beryl. Oh, that's a beautiful. <laughs> that's beautiful. I just want to say thank you for that beautiful gratitude prayer. And as long as we can stay in our hearts like that, that's that's all the mother earth wants us to do and you're welcome and you just call me and i hold private ceremonies for people private journeys to go inside of yourself amen all right thank you very much Mado. Elizabeth, you have your hand up. 
Yes. Um, first, I just want to thank you, uh, Denise, for sharing, especially about the earth and connecting to the earth, Mother Earth. And I was really moved, especially that uh, we are the Mother Earth, you know, the Mother Earth inside us. Um, I just have a question. If somebody is having ish, uh, stomach issues all the time, what advice can you give or suggestion? Everything starts inside of us. All the turmoil, all the sickness, all the dis-ease starts inside of us. And if we can silence ourselves, that's why the creator gave us an, two, two ears for we can hear the great spirit speaking. But we can hear in the spirits, Mother Earth wants us to, just to be in silence. Go and put your hands on Mother Earth and feel the earth breathing. Feel her heart and feel your heart. Go out and lean against a tree. Sit underneath a tree. Go look at the beautiful leaves. Look at the look at the sacred geometry of them leaves. Look at every vein that goes through them leaves, the colors of them leaves, and then go back to where your anyone has um, uh, wherever you're not comfortable at. Mm -hmm. If you're not in a good way, if you're sick or or anyone has anger or anything like that, go back to see where's it at, and then you'll notice that you have no anger, you have no sickness. When you take yourself and look at the beautiful gifts of Mother Earth, because Mother Earth just keeps on giving and giving and giving and giving and giving. And so all we have to do just receive and receive and receive and say, thank you. It's all our, I don't like calling it a job. I call it a joy. <laughs> Oh. Thank you so much. We ha we have time for a question in the chat. To, I just wanted to say thank you so much, especially I related to the story of the plants. My aunt in, in Zambia, Africa, showed me one plant which looks like, uh, it has roots like ginger. And then if you take that, uh, you can take it for any health <laughs> issues. You know, if you have stomach ache, you can take it. So they used to, the name, like nickname, like uh, there's no trouble. <laughs> because if you have any trouble, you take that, you know, you get better. So thank you so much for sharing. <laughs> Wonderful. We have one more question. Have you written any books? Have I? Are you asking me, have I read any books? Have you written? Have you written? Oh, have I written? Yes. Oh my gosh, that's probably my next project. Everyone always telling me to write a book um, and stuff. And I haven't done that because I have about a trillion projects right now. <laughs> but, but but you'll I, get I, to I, it. I will you'll get, get to it, it eventually. It's, oh, called this... with, it's called living with venus <laughs> all right well this has been such an enjoyable conversation with you venus oh we thank you so much and we look forward to ceremony bringing a group down to what can i say it's just you have just enlighten our hearts and i must say thank you so much and i'll see you tomorrow and at this time if there's no for real? yes i'm for real you know oh. i'm for real wow okay wow you're making me cry over here no no no, no 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 venus 
Wow, you know, I'm in gratitude. Yes. So you're coming to the ceremony? Um, yes. Uh, Saturday? It's Saturday. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, my goodness. I'll be there. Ooh, okay. Wow. I welcome And you. I'll bring all the joy back and, and just tell everybody about the experience. And they'll be there the next time. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> we will hold one just for uh, the WW. Uh, the global the women. women's peace day. Yeah, all the women. Yes, yes, yes. The women. we will. Yes, all the women. We will hold a ceremony in the teepee, and we'll bring yes. all the road people in just to hold it for the women. Wonderful. Yes. Oh, thank you. At at mm. this time, we're going to have. Uh, we're going to bring this brother back on. Um, what can I say? Hold on just a second. We're getting ready to bring back Gregory Woods, who is an African Native American peak performance coach teaching corporate synergy through the medium of music and the story power of his ancestors' wisdom, concepts, and techniques of problem resolution dealing with violence, sexual energy, and other issues of young people can be taught from the circle of the drum. He states mirrors, sounds, and images. My words, he say, as a man, as a father. I want to um, uh, thank everybody for everything. Um, uh, this has been a very um, uh, comforting for, for me. And um, <clears throat> I've learned some things I normally have something to write with, but I, I couldn't write anything because um, the, the presentation was soothing. Um, there's nothing like the uh, healing touch of a mother or grandmother. And um, this drum that I have right now, I, I, made, um, I made this drum and I just want the drum to speak from one heart to another before we go in the world and touch the world tomorrow. No, 
Thank you, Don.
Awesome. 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 Thank you so much. Thank you. You're thank safe. you. You're thank safe. you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> okay. Wow. Mm. Natasha, you are on the call for action. <laughs> wow. Thank you, Dottie. Wow. This has been an incredible and amazing evening. I feel like my own understanding has grown so much and my appreciation, you know, for, for Venus and for Brother Gregory uh, for your amazing uh, contributions. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I feel truly blessed <laughs> and I feel that I have, I have so much within me now that I can, uh, you know, I, I can reflect on and uh, yeah, I, I feel at peace too, you know, which is wonderful. And that's what we're all about at the Global Women's uh, Peace Network, right? Um, so thank you so much to both of you. Thank you to Dottie. Um, yes, I would like to have a call to action. Uh, there are a couple of parts to this. One is on our local level for our GWPN DMV. Um, if you would like to uh, be involved or to attend our monthly series, you know, we want to continue this having every month a different theme where we talk about uh, different cultures and help to, to bring peace through understanding. So uh, I will be sending out an email to everybody who registered after this. And if you would like to uh, stay informed, please let me know, then I can invite you to our next, uh, next program, which will be on December 9th and the following months and so on. And the second part of my uh, call to action is I want to invite you to become a global friend and to share what a global friend is. I will be uh, sharing just a one minute video. So hang on, here we go. So this is introducing the global friend who are partners of GWPN. Okay, uh, thank you for your attention. So if you would like to find out more about Global Friends, please visit our website, wfwp.us. And uh, we have in fact, uh, another Global Friend that uh, has not been listed there because it's a recent edition. And that is the Sacred First Nations for Peace which I believe Dottie is involved with. So yeah, if you represent an organization and you would like to partner with us, please get in, get in touch. And uh, now I will pass it back to Dottie. Thank you so much, Natasha. Is our president on? And yes, Gela Costelli, yes. is you on? Hello. Thank you. <laughs> you cannot close this program out without hearing just a few words from you. 
Oh my goodness, I'm overwhelmed. It was a, a healing session tonight. I'm so honored that and so excited that we are honoring our Native American brothers and sisters in this month of November, which we are doing with this event here. Thank you, Dottie, you've been our pillar here representing your people and also, of course, uh, Venus Star, you are a mother of peace yourself. You are a healer, you are um, just uh, incredible. Yeah, a mother, a mother, <laughs> a mother, that is everything. So also brother, brother Wolf, you've been many times at our events. I believe that the Native American heritage, culture, spirituality, is it what is needed here in America like fresh air to just hear what we heard tonight. I think we should share with as many people as we can. I'm glad we are recording this because we in the Women's Federation and the Global Women Peace Network wanna make sure that we re-educate our brothers and sisters coming from, as our sister said, from the head to the heart. We're looking for, for solutions everywhere out there, but actually it really is. The solution is in our hearts and who else better leading us than our Native American brothers and sisters that we are all interconnected. You know, there has to be a shift from the div divisive mindset to the connectedness mindset, right? That's what I'm hearing and feeling here tonight. And the peace that passes all understanding connects us all. So thank you, thank you, thank you for having this evening. And thank you, Dottie, for being such a great host and representing your people. I'm so happy that the Sacred Nation is now partnering with us so we can multiply what you're doing. Thank you so much. Thank you. At this time, we will have Nana, who, if there are no other questions or concerns, and all hearts and minds are satisfied, Nana will pray us out. And with deep breaths, we give thanks for this shared space and time. We go within, remind ourselves that we are able to be proactive. May we be inspired by tonight and may we be courageous. May we be embraced by tonight and may we be fearless. May we share with others how moved we are this evening and may we take it to the ancestors and may they in turn show us in ways that we can see and receive how to stand, how to be, how to be our most present full self, that we affect change as opposed to watching things happen. May we tap into our, our parasupportive system, our rest and our digest. May we connect with our breath and pause and give thanks for Asasiya. May we connect with our digestion, the seat of our moral compass and allow it to guide us as we navigate path, relationship and our communication and connection with mother earth. We give thanks for all of these spaces, these beautiful vibrations present, and we give thanks for all those seen and unseen who helped pull this together. Madasipa, thank you for all things great and all things small. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. As in Native land, we do not say goodbye. We say see you later, and we will see you later. See you later. Thank you, Thank you everybody. Thank you, also. See you Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Good night and thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Oh, beautiful. Thank Good you. Night. Thank Good you, night. Good night. Thank you, everybody. Good night. Good night. See you later. Thank you. Bye. Bye.